This video shows how to fix your HP Envy 7640, OfficeJet 5740, or OfficeJet 8040 E all in one printer when a carriage jam error message displays on the printer control panel. If there is a problem with the printer carriage, try these solutions to resolve the carriage jam issue. Turning the printer off and then on again can reset the carriage. Press the power button to turn off the printer. If the printer does not turn off, disconnect the power cord from the back of the printer. Wait 60 seconds. Reconnect the power cord to the printer. Then press the power button to turn on the printer. Wait until the printer has completed startup, then try printing a printer status report. Align a stack of paper by tapping it on a flat surface. Load plain white paper into the input tray. Slide the paper width guides inward until they stop at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guides in so tightly that they start to bend the paper. On the printer control panel, swipe the display to show more menu options, and then touch the setup icon. Swipe the display up to show more menu options, and then touch reports. Touch printer status report. If the report prints, the issue is resolved. If the report does not print, continue to the next step. A paper jam might be blocking the carriage. Remove any jammed paper from the printer. First, remove any paper from behind the output tray. Make sure that the tray extender is closed. Grasp the output tray by the sides and then pull the output tray toward you to remove it. Look inside the printer and check the rollers for any paper. Gently remove any paper from the output rollers. To replace the output tray, slide the output tray back onto the input tray. Next, check for jam paper behind the input tray. Press the power button to turn off the printer. Grasp the output tray by the sides and then pull the output tray toward you to remove it. Grasp the handle on the input tray and then pull the input tray toward you to open it. Remove any paper from the input tray or any paper that blocks the photo tray. Turn the printer onto its right side so that you can access the bottom of the printer. Check the gap on the bottom of the printer for paper. Grasp any paper with both hands and then pull the paper slowly but firmly toward you to remove it. Gently remove any bits of torn paper. Turn the printer over to its normal upright position. Align a stack of paper by tapping it on a flat surface. Load plain white paper into the input tray. Slide the paper width guides inward until they stop at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guides in so tightly that they start to bend the paper. Slide the input tray into the printer. Slide the output tray back onto the input tray. Now, remove any jam paper from the paper path and cartridge access area. Press the power button to turn off the printer and then disconnect the power cord from the back of the printer. Disconnect any USB or Ethernet cables from the back of the printer. Open the cartridge access door. Remove any paper or foreign objects from the carriage path. 
find the paper path cover, grasp the handle, and then lift up to remove the cover. Remove any paper from the rollers and wheels. Replace the paper path cover. Press until it clicks into place. Close the cartridge access door. The door is securely closed when the door open message clears and the home screen displays on the control panel. Finally, make sure the printer is placed on a flat surface that is clear of any obstructions. Remove any paper, small objects, or fabrics from under the printer. Reconnect the power cord to the back of the printer, and then reconnect any USB or Ethernet cables that were disconnected earlier. Press the power button to turn on the printer. To see if the issue has been resolved, print a printer status report. On the printer control panel, swipe the display to the left and then touch the setup icon. Swipe the display up to show more menu options and then touch reports. Touch printer status report. If the report prints, the issue is resolved. If the report does not print, continue to the next step. Ink cartridges not installed correctly might cause a carriage jam error. Follow these steps to remove and reinstall the ink cartridges. Press the power button to turn on the printer, and then open the cartridge access door. Lightly press down on each ink cartridge to release it. Pull each cartridge toward you to remove it from its slot. Do not touch the copper-colored contacts or the ink nozzles. Handling these parts can result in clogs, ink failure, and bad electrical connections. Slide each cartridge at a slight upward angle into the empty slot, and then gently push up on each cartridge until it snaps into place. Close the cartridge access door. Wait several seconds for the printer to calibrate and align the cartridges. To see if the issue has been resolved, print a printer status report. On the printer control panel, swipe the display to the left and then touch the setup icon. Swipe the display up to show more options and then touch reports. Touch printer status report. If the report prints, the issue is resolved. If the report does not print, continue to the next step. The printer might not be getting enough power for the carriage to function properly. Plug the printer directly into an electrical outlet to make sure that the power source functions correctly. Disconnect the power cord from the back of the printer. Unplug the power cord from any power strips or surge suppressors. Plug the power cord directly into an electrical outlet. Reconnect the power cord to the back of the printer. Then press the power button to turn on the printer. To see if the issue has been resolved, print a printer status report. On the printer control panel, Swipe the display to the left, and then touch the setup icon. Swipe the display up to show more options, and then touch reports. Touch printer status report. If the report prints, the issue is resolved. If the report does not print, continue to the next step. Sometimes a paper jam error appears, even though there is no jam paper. Reset the printer to clear a false paper jam error. Press the power button to turn on the printer. Wait until the printer has completed startup before continuing. With the printer turned on, 
Disconnect the power cord from the back of the printer. Unplug the power cord from the wall outlet and wait at least 60 seconds. Plug the power cord back into the wall outlet. Reconnect the power cord to the back of the printer. Press the power button to turn on the printer. Wait until the printer completes startup before continuing. To check if the issue has been resolved, print a printer status report. On the printer control panel, swipe the display to the left and then touch the setup icon. Swipe the display up to show more options and then touch reports. Touch printer status report. If the report prints, the issue is resolved. If the report does not print, continue to the next step. If you have completed all the steps and are still experiencing issues, the printer might need to be serviced. Your options for service might vary depending on how long you have owned the printer and what country you live in. Contact HP to find out the support options for your printer. You can find additional helpful videos at hp.com forward slash support videos and on our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash HP Printer Support.